they like if they beat Texas Tech this week, there's a really good chance that Colorado can make the Big 12 championship game. They still need Iowa State to lose, but again, I think Iowa State may have trouble with Kansas this week. Kansas State plays Iowa State. That's another one. But you've also got, I mean, there, there's a lot going on. Now, Kansas State already lost again. Like, Kansas State has two Big 12 losses. If Colorado keeps winning, their loss to Kansas State does not matter in terms of the tiebreaker. So, Double O'Neill, they do not need two teams to lose. They need yeah, one they need team Iowa to lose. State it's to very, lose. very possible that by Sunday afternoon, they are in control of their Big 12. Uh, now, th th there's... There's another thing we, when we get to my saucy takes, we'll we'll talk about that. But let's talk about this game, Colorado, Texas Tech, Shador Sanders specifically. Now let's look at it through the lens of our friends at Prize Picks. If you're not already playing Prize Picks, best daily fantasy game in America. Download the app, use the code Staples, play five dollars, get fifty dollars instantly. So let us talk about Shador Sanders going to this week because Shador Sanders having a great season, but his passing yardage number. On prize picks this week is 327 and a half. And you say you think you, he will throw for more than that or less than that. That is a big, big number. More than that is a lot of yards. Mm -hmm. So, Ari, do you think that's doable in the winds of Lubbock? That's a lot of yards, Andy. Like, I think Shador mm -hmm. could throw for 275 and have an amazing game and win. Like, that is that is a lot of yards. So my gut feeling is that I think he's going to play great and I think Colorado is mm -hmm. going to win, but I think it might be in the 300 range. I'm I'd probably go less than here. I think I would go more than, and I'll tell you why Texas tech has given up more than that. Three times. They gave up 506 passing yards to Abilene Christian 426 to Cincinnati 344 to TCU. When they've played fairly good quarterbacks, they have, the, the quarterbacks have been efficient and they have thrown for a bunch. Shador Sanders has better receivers and is a better quarterback than anybody they've played. Like Colorado might lose this game, but if they lose this game, it's because Texas tech and Baron Morton have a huge game and it's a shootout. Now, like the Texas tech, Iowa state game, it was a little bit limited offensively, but the weather was horrific in Ames. Like it was not conducive to a to a to a shootout. This is this is a different situation. But here's what scares me, Andy. And you know I'm not big on fluff, but Texas Tech is still technically alive in the Big 12 race. This would be a huge mm -hmm. win for them. They're coming off a very big win. That place is gonna be rocking. Like, are we not expecting Texas Tech's like best possible game? We we are. Like, and and if you're wondering what the weather is, it's gonna be a beautiful day in Lubbock. High 65, low 39. This is a mid-afternoon game, so you're talking about mid-60s temperatures and sunshine. We we could see a very high-scoring game here. Yeah, and and maybe if you think that that's the case, then the more than play is is the right side. Um, you know, the thing that's interesting is is like Colorado beat the crap out of Arizona, and I watched that game, and Shador could took whatever he wanted, and I think he threw for 250 in that game. Like getting to 400 is not easy, even when you're playing well and efficient football. So uh, that to me is the thing I'm thinking of. And then also too, like my anticipation is that that's going to be a loud stadium. Uh, Texas Tech mm -hmm. is going to be giving it as much as tortillas as flying can everywhere. Tort Somebody said, "Don't eat the tortillas." Uh, I've never been to Lubbock, so uh, well, I mean, if they if they've landed on on field turf. It can't be good. Like people's feet have been all over that. Field turf seems less gross to me than concrete. I, it's both. I like those little rubber pellets. I, what if they get the yeah, rubber yo, pellets on the tortilla? Like that taco is going to taste terrible. You wipe the pellets off. I mean, I guess the sweat and body fluids that absorb uh -huh. into. We the have our answer. <laughs> Cy <laughs> underscore ttu says don't eat the tortillas because students sneak them in in their pants. So you don't know where that tortilla has been.